Welcome everybody to Soul Beat Entertainment Television Network and I'm your host here, Al Ballard. We have a co-host here, Mr. G Spot. Is, yeah. is that right? Or That's Spot right. G? G Spot. G Gary Spot. Barker. Okay. And our special guest here this afternoon is none other than the mighty stylistic. How are you guys doing? All right, good. Thank you. Great. Uh, why don't we start with the gentleman over there and give your name and... My name is Arian Love and my name is Herb Morell. All right, now uh, you guys have uh, you've been here for a minute. Uh, it, it, you're not new on the block. You're not the new kids on the no, block. No, no. How, how long have you guys been together, and uh, how did you get together? Uh, well, with this year we're celebrating uh, 28 years being together. The stylistics, and uh, it all came together from two different groups: uh, Russell and Arian, and at the time James Smith. Uh, was in a group called the Monarchs, and myself and James Dunn came from a group called the Percussions. Mm -hmm. And upon completion of high school, uh, members from both organizations either went on to further schooling or into the armed services. And at that time, the group Arians with the Monarchs had their manager, was the English teacher at the high school that we attended. She came up with the idea, why not put the remaining members of both groups together? together. And we started from the stylistics. And, and, and that's how you arrived at the name, the uh, stylistics, uh, uh, more or less? More or less, yeah. More or less. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Each group trying to hold on to their own name. But <laughs> the name came about by that time, uh, a gentleman by the name of Robert Douglas, which uh, co-wrote Your Big Girl Down. He came up with the name stylistics, and it kind of stuck with us. Okay. Okay, now, um, uh, what, okay, now, these are, uh, uh, Russell and uh, Aaron are two of the original, right. original members, right. and uh, then you came along. Oh, no, uh, I'm also an original member from you're, day you're one right. also. But, but it was three of you guys all the time, or was it four at, at one point? Uh, five. Five, yeah, five, started out with five, five right, five guys? right, right, and along the way we lost two members, James Dunn and James Smith, uh, Aaron, Russell, and myself just continued on uh, keeping the group together. Well, that's, that's going on, rock and roll baby, right on like that. But I know that's not your biggest thing. You know, uh, uh, what was your biggest, biggest hit? Our uh, biggest selling song was uh, You Make Me Feel Brand New. You Make yeah. Me Feel Brand New. Sounds real great. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, Can't Forget Betcha by Golly Wow. That's in there somewhere, uh, right? Oh, definitely, yeah. A, it may not be, you know, at the top of the chart. The biggest, but, but it's one of the biggest. Yeah. You're My Everything. you everything, yeah. And uh, what's what, uh, Make Up to Break Up? Yeah. Break Up to Make Up. Yeah, you know, we want to <laughs> let everybody know right now, one of the reasons the stylistics are here at Soul Beat is because they're performing. You can see them live at Kimball's East in Emeryville. So we want to actually take your phone calls if you ha have a question for... Uh, Arian Love or Herb Morell, the original stylistics. Give us a call right now, 553-1137, 553-1137. Give us a call. And uh, man, you know, actually, what do you guys do on your off time? I mean, you know, stylistics, you guys are legends, man. I can't picture you doing anything else but singing, you know what I mean? But I mean, what do you guys do on your off time? And what does stylistics do? Well, about a week before we came out, I was doing some painting. <laughs> I think I still got some painting in my nails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is normal things. things. Yeah. Hobbies yeah. or anything yeah. like that? Fishing is mine. I'm, right. I'm an avid fisherman, yeah. Airy in love out there, baiting. Every chance I get. Throwing every, the rod out yep, there. Every yeah. chance I get. Yeah, man, you guys have been together for like 25 years. I mean, you guys have uh, an album out now, which actually um, you called upon Felton Pilot from Confunction, right? And he was here about three weeks ago. But mm -hmm. can you tell me about hooking up with uh, Felton Pilot from Confunction and doing this for your latest album? Well, the album was uh, produced by uh, Preston Glass, who penned uh, a few songs on it. Uh, it was through him that, that Felton came in and uh, did a project also. Yeah, and uh, man, I must say, uh, you know, Confunction, Stylistics, I mean, are you guys going to... Uh, collaborate more or do you uh it's possible yeah possible? Uh, it's yeah. possible yeah. yeah in fact uh we'll be talking to preston uh this weekend he'll be to the show this weekend so we'll be talking to him great great okay and, you uh, guys yeah go, go ahead. ahead actually uh once again we'll give out the phone number is 553-1137 okay what do you guys make home at now where, where are you based at? still philadelphia still, yeah, still philadelphia, philadelphia yeah, right. down there did you guys ever work uh, you, at one point y'all worked with tom bell did you ever work with uh bell or Huff or Gamble, any of those? Things? Well, uh, in the beginning, all the early stuff that we did, uh, Stone in Love With You, Betcha By Golly, Why You Everything, You Make Me Feel Brand New, was produced by Tom Bell. Yeah. And along the way over the years, we've had uh, the opportunity to work with Gamble and Huff also. Uh, as a matter of fact, there was an album that we did 
that was produced by uh, uh, Leon Huff, you know, and Gamble, Kenny right. Gamble. Well, are these guys uh, kind of varying a little bit there? Are they still, I, I don't get much feedback from them anymore, you know, right. since, uh, but are they still doing it? Oh, they're, they're still very much so doing what they're doing musically. Uh, as a matter of fact, the last uh, two albums that were done by Phyllis Hyman uh, was produced by Kenny Gamble, Leon Huff. Ah, right on. Uh, for the Zoo Record label, right? So they're still, still doing what they're doing musically, yes. Okay. Now, Russell, who, who, who does most of the lead singing? Uh, Russell, uh, Russell does, Russell does. Right. Okay, now, yeah. what, what, uh, what, what are you singing? First, uh, second, tenor, second, tenor, baritone. Baritone. <laughs> baritone. baritone, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, I'm <laughs> and you, Second Eric? tenor, a little first tenor, and baritone. Oh, yeah. And, then, and of course, uh, now, you, you guys, I said Tom Bell produced a lot of this stuff, but Russell wrote a lot of these tunes himself in the early days, or who, who did uh, most of the no, writing? most of the writing in the early stuff was done by Linda Creed along with yeah. other writers that was, you know, uh, on the writing staff at the uh, record label at that time. How, how are you guys working now? I mean, uh, they've got all kind of shows going around now. They got, they got the 70s shows, the 60s, the 80s, and, and like that. And, uh, but you guys, uh, basically, when you come to the Bay Area, it seems that if you guys are headlining, so I don't guess you work too many of the nostalgic shows. Or, are you uh, guys are you working in Vegas or what? what believe it or not, that? we do. Those, those type of shows, because it's a vehicle to allow the folks to know that the stylist is still around. So we'll still we'll do those, those type of shows, which is good. You know what I mean? It adds adds longevity to any group uh, that's fortunate yeah. enough to still be around these days and still be able to work. Well, we, we have a thing with uh, Chuck Johnson, uh, you know, the guy that on uh, this setup here at uh, Sobe Television. He says, if you make yourself one big hit, you can work the rest of your life. You, know? so, uh, you guys have really uh, got uh, several, uh, or I'm talking about uh, mega hits that uh, should keep you working from now on, you know. But are, are there any projects in the, in the works now? Well, we just have, well, just had a, a CD release. In fact, uh, the project that uh, that G was talking about, um, mm -hmm. uh, Love is Back in Style. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Love is Back in Style, just hey. released uh, about a month ago. Yeah. Okay, well, we encourage you to give us a call here. I don't know, uh, well, here we are now, okay? Let's see if this is a call coming through here. Hello there. Hello. Okay, you're on the air with the Stylistics. Ooh, how y'all doing? How, how you doing? How you doing? I, I love your your music. I'm an old school fan, and uh, I wish you much success in the future. I just love to hear you sing. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you much. Uh, okay. Are you coming out to uh, to the show? You guys, uh, y'all performing it tonight? At, at, uh, tonight through Sunday at Kimball's two shows per night, 8 and 10. Well, the reason I said you guys are headline. Are you coming, though? Are you still there, Carla? Yes, I am. Are you coming? Yes, I am. Okay, we'll see yeah. you there then. <laughs> Want to give your first name? Yeah, bro. Deborah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see you tonight, Deborah. Okay, bye bye. All right, okay. Deborah. All right. Now, uh, uh, what was I saying here before I went back to Deborah? We were talking about you guys performing tonight, right. and of course, so uh, you'd be doing all of you, you big hits. Uh, oh yeah, by yeah, golly yeah, and yeah, all that. About golly, wild, the you everything, break up to make up, as G mentioned earlier, and a few, a few things along the way to, to excite the show. You know what I mean? Show another side of the stylistics. Well, you know, whenever you guys come to town, it's not like uh, you guys are, you know, you, you're on your own. You, nobody's there but you guys, and. Uh, so I, that's when I ask you about the nostalgic shows, you know, the 70s shows and some 60s shows that's going around like that. Right. Do you do much of uh, individual headlining? Uh? Yeah, well, the the 70s shows, as you, as you talk, uh, there's uh, two groups that we basically have worked with in the past a lot, uh, mm -hmm. Dramatics and uh, Shylights. Uh, but that's not the structure of our work. Mm -hmm. um, like, we go home Monday, uh, Thursday we leave for South Africa. We've been in South Africa for about nine days. Uh, we come back home uh, for about a week. Then we leave for England. We're in England until <laughs> yeah. December 1st. Right. We come back home a week. Then we go to Japan. We're in Japan until January. From Japan we go on to Malaysia, uh, Singapore. And we do back home in February. Then we start touring around the states again. So well, yeah. that's by ourselves. You basically. guys don't really. Uh, 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 G was talking about uh, uh, your latest uh, effort here with uh, Felton Function, Pilot. Felton Pilot. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, uh, but I don't see, according to that itinerary man, where you would have time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys seem like you're working more now than uh, when you know when that you brand new and all of that was was really popping. Well, yeah, you made mention earlier about you know having if you have good songs and they will sustain you throughout your career. And we've been very fortunate uh, at the beginning and the offset of our career 
to be associated with somebody like Tom Bell and Linda Creed, which wrote some great songs for us. And over the years, uh, not only were they hits here in, in the United States, but also worldwide. So we've been very fortunate, and God has blessed us to be in, in the forum at the right time. Right on. Okay, uh, well, we had a caller on the line. Okay, let's go to the phones one time. Hello, you're on the air with the uh, Stylistics. Hello, uh, good afternoon. I, I want to tell y'all brothers, I, I didn't even know y'all was on. I was turning my TV and I saw y'all. And Thank God for Sobe. I just want to tell you brothers, the Stylistics, that you have helped so many people when we were in trouble feeling bad. And we put on a Stylistics album, Dramatics, all you brothers from that era, and you just made us feel so good and brought us back to life. Especially in those bad days through the 60s when we were going through hell and catching hell. So, late 60s, I mean to say, so, and early 70s. So, you brothers, I just want to say thank you all for everything you've done. And it's proud to see brothers out here who, who really contributed something. I mean, because I go right now to my old albums and put on... Bet you by golly, why, why, and all the other songs, and it still brings those same emotions back to me, and that's why I wonder about these youngsters today, if they're gonna be able to put on their music in 20 years and feel something, have a good memory about it. So thank y'all for the good memories and keep up the good work, brothers, and I'm glad y'all in good health. Well, thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you for the call. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, he mentioned a good point, break up the makeup, you make me feel brand new. I mean, these songs are like, I mean, we all been through this before, yeah. man. And it's like, you know, these songs actually touch you, they mean something. I mean, how do you feel when you sing it, when you see the reaction of people? I mean, you've probably performed it like numerous times, but people are out there like hearing it, seems like for the first time they go crazy. I mean, how's it feel for you when you do it? Uh, it, it makes you feel good inside when, when you're on that stage and you can transform from the stage to the audience emotions and, and you see somebody out there may be laid back with a little tear in their eye. You try not to look that way too long because you might become sentimental along with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, but it's a good feeling. It's a real good feeling. You know, about the redundance of, uh, you know, performing night after night, uh, uh, it, it, I guess you have to have some feedback from an audience though, because otherwise it probably would become boring. I was exactly. a radio disc jockey for years and, 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 and a lot of times unless I could get phone input or something, right. or, you know, I, it was just a, a repetitive thing, you know, and I, I would imagine when you see people having a good time, that re-energizes you. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That makes it all worth it. Really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. you know what I, I found a lot of times, a lot of the entertainers, if they don't get the feedback, they'll start to sing things that make them feel good <laughs> right. and skipping the stuff that right. the people actually come out to, to, uh, to hear, exactly. you know, and that, exactly. that, that does happen, right. you know. Okay, uh, the number to call here is 553-1137. Uh, uh, That's right, 1137. That's right. Okay, give us a call here. We have the stylistics here, and uh, they're going to be at Kimbo's East tonight through Sunday and uh like to have you guys to come out and uh rock and roll baby with them a little bit even though we don't have uh, uh and i keep mentioning that because uh, when i was in radio i played a lot of your tunes obviously but i was more or less an up-tempo jock they called me uh several station i'm big beat ballard and okay. like that so um I, I, I played the up-tempo stuff, mm -hmm. basically. Right. So that's why I keep referring to rock, rock and roll, baby. Baby. Okay. <laughs> because I was crazy about that. I, I really loved it because it, it was an up-tempo. Up and right. we also, uh, you you radio person. Yeah, radio you? personality. You know, as a matter of fact, too, um, you know, like, most of your songs are love songs. I mean, how do you guys feel about doing fast songs? Is this like something you, you guys say, uh, I don't know if we want to get Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis <laughs> to, you know, start slip sliding on the stage. I mean, how do you guys feel about that when you, when you choose a song? Well, if it's, if it's about love or uh, a positive, a positive um, aspect of it, I don't think we would have a problem with that. In right. fact, uh, on this uh, new, new CD, we have a couple of tempo temple things on there uh, we wouldn't have a problem with it at all that's great and you know what there's a person that you worked with uh, that I want to mention a lot of you old school people know who I'm talking about if you remember Van McCoy he had the hustle right and you right. guys worked with him on an album uh, what was he like because you know he's no longer with us but he is a, a, a legend and right. uh, you know it's like we don't know enough about him Van was a very, very motivating kind of person. Uh, not only, uh, you know, as as, a, as being a friend, but musically, he, uh, a lot of musical ideas you know, along the way. Bars being young at the younger at the time, working with Van, you know, installed a lot of good things in our minds musically. Yeah, but, Van came in. Excuse me, Van came in at, at a crucial, crucial time too, mm -hmm. because uh, it was a fallout or something between uh, Tom Bell and the record company, 
and uh, the record company said, okay, well, we're going to take over the realms and start producing the group uh, themselves, eh, which wasn't a good idea as far as we were concerned, because we were kind of kind of satisfied with the stuff that Tommy and Linda Creed was uh, putting out. But uh, Hugo and Luigi penned uh, quite, a, quite a few songs, and Van McCoy did the arrangements, where he gave it. He gave the songs, some of the songs were kind of yeah. like oh, yeah. rough. Right, right, right. <laughs> rough. Okay, but man, I, I gave it a good, a good feel to it. Didn't right. Hugo and Luigi, didn't they work with Sam Cooke? Yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They were yeah. producer for Sam yeah. Cooke. Right. You, know your, you know your history. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do, we're going to kind of hold your thought on that. We're going to go to the phone lines. We do uh, have them kind of lit up over here, at least they were, and uh, we'll see what we got here. This is uh, line one. Hello there, you on the air? Hello, Hello, Mr. Al Ballard. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, brother? I'm doing fine. This is Tyrone Truex, the showstopper. <laughs> hey, Tyrone, how are you? Oh, uh, you know, this guy here, is on, the guy that's on the line now, uh -huh. uh, he does uh, a, a, a show. And uh, I think you guys are, I think, <laughs> his, his, the basis of his show. Is that right, Tyrone? Did you want, did you want to ask the stylistics anything? Yeah, hey, I do. Stone in love with you. You're a big girl now. Uh... Uh, bet you by golly wow, and you make me feel brand new. That one always turned the house out. That's for real. You know, me and my cousin do that one. Yeah, okay. I know, yeah. Yeah, me and him receipt. <laughs> well, I do a show called Soul Showcase, and uh, he appears on it a lot of times, and uh, they sing to uh, his soundtrack, you know, and that's it. Okay, Tyrone, well, we're glad to hear from one thing to the brothers there, man. I'd like to commend you gentlemen on such a fine job of musical expertise for so many years. I mean, you brothers to me still look like you're 21, man. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate you know that. Saying? That's very and kind of you. It looks even younger than you. Much, much success to you. May God bless you. And hopefully, if I get a chance, I'm gonna get on over there and uh, check out the show. All right, okay, great. Well, you, you better man. come Thanks on a lot. because these guys got to move on, Tyrone. Okay, right on. All right, then. Thank you. All right, line two, you on the air. Hello there, you got hey, the stylistics. Hey, how you doing? Hey, uh, how are you? How's it going, stylistics? Look hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Look at them up there. They, they, they got style just sitting there. Look at them now. <laughs> Look at them. Hey, this is two-tone walk the hook production, man. Um, I'm interested in doing some work with you guys. Hey, you make me feel brand new, you know. Hey, I like the song, you know. Hey, and um, I'm young, but um, well, anyway, I can get in reach in touch with y'all or whatever, you know. Well, I tell you what you do, call back when we're off the air, and uh, these guys, they do have a kind of a tight schedule, but I'm sure that they'll leave a number or something off the air where you might be able to get in touch with them, okay? Okay, hey, you, um, you guys are the ones that did, um, um, you're a big girl now? Right, right. that was the very okay, first song. Okay, 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 I got something I want to hook up with that. Okay, I'm going to get at you, Al. Okay, then what, you going right. to do a little sampling or something? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, all right, no, okay. Stuff. Okay, oh. Stuff. I don't sample nothing. Okay, all right. All right. okay, well, let's go to, uh, uh, line one here. Hello, there. you're on the air with the stylistics. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, I like enjoy your music and everything. I'm listening to it for a couple of, for for a lot of years. Got me and my cousin sitting here. Y'all gonna be throwing a concert pretty soon or something? We're, oh, we're in town now. Right, we're at Kimball's East uh, tonight. tonight. Tonight through uh, Sunday, two shows tonight, eight and ten. So if you get a chance, stop on over. Oh yeah, man, that's for sure. Y'all from here, from Oakland? No, we're from Philadelphia. Y'all from Philadelphia? Hold right. on, my cousin wanna say something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come on, bro. In the back watching TV. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, we're going to have to move on here. Uh, let's go to another line here. Hello? Hello, are you on the air? Line two, you on the air. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Al? Okay. What's up, Gary Baca? Hey, hey, what's happening? What's going on? Stylistics. What's you know, up? What's hey. happening? You just don't know how many kids was born in your era. They right now. Hey, I want to ask you a question right quick. Now, today's R&B music, what I hear, you know, like Boys the Man and Keith Sweat, I hear a lot of bagging. Back in y'all day, wasn't too much bagging. It was just straight getting to the point, you know, letting the women know what's going on. It was all good. But now, what you feel about all that bagging going on in the music, you know, today? Well, you know, there's, there's many ways that you can speak about love. I guess some guys just have to beg their way through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we're going to have to move on. We have a, another call. They've been online for a long time. Okay, but thanks for the call. All right. All right, then. Take thanks care. A lot. Take care now. All right, then. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Gentlemen. Hey, how you doing? My pleasure. Send the star lessons once again. Um, I did grow up to your music. I just want to say thank you for uh, the positive music that, uh, that you brought out. Um, when I say positive, I'm speaking of the lyric of 
enough trash men didn't pick up the trash today. Um, people make the world go around. Right. right. As you know, we're still going around those little uh, troubles and times that we're uh, going through. Right. And I just want to say thank you because it's a memory, but people don't understand what you were saying. And I just want to know, can you uh, compensate, comment on that record itself? Um, people make the world go around because, as you know, we're still in troubles and times. Thank right. you. Right. Well, you mentioned uh, what some of the things you mentioned. You kind of touched on what it is. It's talking about what's happening in life every day, general. When you wake up, what you have to grind and go through during the course of your day. And this uh, was penned by Linda Creed and uh, uh, produced by Tom Bell. And she was talking about in her lyric content of what's going on for real, for real, and what we got to be recognized and be aware of. Yes, sir. And you know, uh, excuse me for interrupting. Right. At that same time, uh, uh, Teddy Pendergrast also had a song go out at the same time. It was called Wake Up, wake, Everybody. Wake up everybody. Exactly. So, exactly. Was that a combination of Wake Up Everybody and People Make the World Go Around? Well, I think it's just expressions of the songwriters at that time and what they felt and what they saw that was going on around them. Uh, Linda had her thing of how she felt about it with People Make the World Go Around. Gamble up, and Gamble and Huff had the same idea and uh, same awareness of what, of what was happening, and they pin you know, wake up everybody, trying to get sir. a message across. Yes, sir. And that's, and that's songwriting, writing uh, team Gamble and Huff and uh, Tom Bell, they all from the, the same stable same. called Mighty right. Mighty yeah. Free Music, right. 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 and uh, their their theme was there's a message in the music, exactly. and uh, that's like what they were about. Mm -hmm. You sound like those days. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, the, all of these guys, like like you alluded to, Aaron, is that uh, you know they were in Philadelphia there, mm -hmm. most right. of them, and that was probably the, the prevalent thought, uh, you know, exactly. in that during that time exactly. and in that city. Mr. Dallas, you know? Do you yeah. mind if I ask one more question, please? Well, you got to hurry because we do have another caller on the yes, line. Sir. Yes, sir. I apologize. Uh -huh. That's all right. Um, gentlemen, I want to know how did you keep your voices the same? You know, I listen to your music and you still have the same beat. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how did we go about that? Well, if one takes care of, of itself, uh, be health conscious, you know, uh, we don't do a lot of crazy and wild things. You're trying to maintain what we do, and we look at what we do as a business, and you have to maintain if you want to stay in business. And uh, through the grace of God, it all works. If you take care of it, he'll there's, take care of you. There's the answer right there, bro. I, I was waiting for you to say that. Uh -huh. But once again, General, I appreciate your music, and keep up the good work. Thank Thanks you very okay, much. Thank you for the call. All right, you're on the air with the stylistics here on Sobe Television. Hi, you guys Hi. make beautiful music. Well, thank you. Thank you. So thank you. would you sing a few bars of In the Rain? In the Rain? Ooh, that's <laughs> well, dramatic. Well, I, well, <laughs> if it was our song, we would be more than glad to do it. But we are talking about the dramatics there. Right, that's Ron Banks and uh, LJ. And all but I'll sing it for you. Probably good. Okay, well, let's, let's go. Uh, hello, caller. Uh, let's see what we got going She's here. He's trying to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't think, I think, uh, I think actually she, she meant it. I, yeah, you well, know, she, you can easily, it's like, a, you It's an era of them, music right. because, yeah. um, we've come off stage and people say, yeah, and you sung this song and you sung that song and then you sung that song and be somebody else from the right. same era. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, it's easy to do. I don't think. But, you know, uh, one of the callers alluded to the fact that uh, you guys, uh, you still look young, you sound young. And, and I, I've already always said this about uh, the group and about the, uh, the old drifters. Uh, they were so far ahead of their time. Tell your songs are still young sounding. They still have that young approach to it. And, and it's still uh, some, of the, some of the lyrics you guys are using is so prevalent. Even today you can apply, you know, I bet you mm -hmm. by golly I love you. You know right, what I'm yeah. saying? So, so uh, I guess that helps to keep you guys young too because oh, yeah, you certainly, yeah. certainly look that way. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go back. Uh, we've got all the lines. Uh, uh, hello there, you on the air? Hi. Hi, how are you? My name is Larry Ward Jr. And Hi, Larry. Uh, my brother, he liked to hear y'all songs and everything. And um, he um, said, it was, I, it's hard to see y'all on TV anytime. Uh, he liked um, the thing our new song came out. And we just finished it last summer. And it's a lot of kids dying on the streets and everything. You know what I mean? Right. Know what you mean, brother? Okay. Now, uh, the uh, you want to kind of, uh, kind of, kind of clarify a little bit to what what you want the stylistics to do now? Well. You you just wanted to convey that fact to the stylistics? Yeah, I want to you know get it on the, a lot of people on TV who are watching. Right. So you should not be killing our black brothers and Africans. You know. We right. in the peace, and we try to fight to get our way up in here. 
Right. Well, the stylistics are all about love. They they don't even go to rap. Uh, wait a minute. Let me take that back. Now. <laughs> uh, you guys don't. Uh, I gotta go do the right rap. now. Okay. No, we'll, we don't. We'll, we'll see you later. Okay. Thanks a lot, there, man. Okay then. All right. Okay, you guys don't rap, do you? No, we I don't. I mean, you, you, you haven't incorporated any in the time. I, I thought I'd, I'd better say that. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the line They've two. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hey. Hey, how you doing? I'm wonderful. Hey, stop listening. Yes. What's up? You're in love all the time. Does it ever puzzle you? Uh huh. Make sure it's one of their songs, there, brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Make sure it's one of their songs now. Oh, I know no dummy. I know, I know Ron Bates and the dramatics when I see them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All righty. All right, then, bro. You got it going on. We like that. Hey, oh, yeah. hey. Huh? Come to see y'all. You know, uh, I don't recognize the little brother far left there. Uh, that's yeah, uh, that's a spot. That? That's G that's, spot. That's G to the S P O T. Oh, you a rapper? No. Into that rap thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm an announcer. An announcer. Stay warm. <laughs> 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 now, listen, yes. I want to ask a question. Yes, sir. Uh, you say you are always in love, and you know so, sometimes it turn around that the person that you're in love with is not in love with you. Um, are we still singing those songs today? And why is it that the brothers and the sisters cannot stay together to love one another when, even though, excuse me, the sister has the upper hand in the society that we live in? Uh-oh. Uh brother yeah. on the left. I don't want the brother on the right to answer the question. The brother on the left, answer that question. Not the one with the bass. Yes, yes, him. No, nah, put that big <laughs> <laughs> That's him. Uh, okay. Well, you asked a question that's been, the, I think, the the puzzle since uh, since day one. I mean, yes, uh, when you're dealing with two individuals, sometimes things just don't don't go the way that that we want them to. But we go through the same situation. So you the dollars that you have in my pocket, I already had, and now I'm giving it to you. We circulate each and every day. Why can't the brother and the sister really uh, collaborate on that the struggle that we go through? Your songs bring out the message. Mm -hmm. Just like the brother just said, just went off the radio. Uh, people make the world go around. Okay, well, thanks for the call. We All have right, some I'll more call. callers All on. Right. Well, thanks a lot for the call, okay? Yes. All right, then. Hello there. You on with the stylistics? Hello? Hello there. Uh, just to interject Hello there. How are you? You on the air with the stylistics? Hi. My name is um, Dee Dee. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, and I'm look. I don't believe it that I'm calling, but anyway, I I grew up on the stylistics. I'm serious, and I love you guys. Are you? Is, is it still the original stylistics? Yes, yes, it is. It is. Uh, we've been trimmed down to three members, but it's the three original members of the group. Oh, you guys, you make me feel brand new. Wow, well, thank you. <laughs> make, up break, make up for break up. Oh, you guys, I just grew up on that was back in the day. Yeah. And these rappers do not understand the, liquor, the lyrics that you really need if you're talking about all this love stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. That's, you they know, had a smooth groove, huh? <laughs> they was really smooth, right? Yeah, why you can't believe? Smooth. Why 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 you can't uh, believe that you're calling? Are uh, the stylistics are uh, are the reason you're calling? Or you haven't called uh, before? No, I have never called before. I didn't think I could get through. I mean, I just tried to call like about ten minutes ago, and it was just busy. But you, you said to yourself, you just have to talk to stylistics, huh? Yeah, I do. I love the style. I grew up on the stylistics. <laughs> wow, My brothers and them used you. to have groups when they was going to tech back in the days and they would sing their songs and I used to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll baby, huh? Uh, yep, thank uh, you. So you have to make it over to Kimball's while we're here. Yeah, okay, hello, you on with the stylistics? Yes, are you guys playing any videos today? Uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing some. Right now we're trying to do an interview here with the stylistics. Respect that, no, all right. All right, thank you, brother. All right. All right. Okay, and of course, uh, we're here with the Stylistics. The Stylistics will be at uh, Kimball's East tonight, which is Wednesday night through Sunday night, so uh, you want to get in early because they're here. Uh, this is probably uh, your second, third year uh, being there, or more? Fourth year. Fifth year. I think it's yeah, the fourth, fourth year. Fourth year, and I know you guys have a, have a big crowd every, every oh, yeah, night. It's always every great work. Yeah. yeah, always a great turnout. So you guys, what you want to do is really get it together and uh, come on out and... Uh, and you know, get you some seats and good seats, so you can get down front. Do they let them dance at your thing now? You know, sometimes uh, they have the functions, or maybe uh, they'll have players uh, 
people like that. They clear up a little dance floor, but right. no, uh, the seats there now. They seats there for you seat. guys. But yeah. folks do get up and get oh yeah, they can book in now and do their thing. Yeah, yeah do their thing. <laughs> yeah, I can I can understand it. Right. Do we have any time for any more calls, Rock? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, go. okay then. Hello there, you on with the stylistics? Oh, whoop, oh, hold it. Hello there, you on with the stylistics? Hi, it's me again. But uh, okay, what about you? <laughs> uh, this is my brother just walking in the house because he just came back from school. Okay. What, he's familiar? He wanted him know, but he's watching y'all right now. He don't know I'm on the phone with y'all. Okay, then. What's your brother's <laughs> name? What's your brother's name? Under 18. Edward. Edward? Uh -huh. Okay, Edward, Edward, your brother is on the phone with us here. So if you're watching, uh, look out for him, okay? We're going to have to move on. He want to sing, though. He oh no, he can't sing. Now. We don't have time. <laughs> okay, well he can't sing. We don't. We don't quite have time for that. So we're trying to get in as many calls as we can. Okay. All right, sir. All right then. Bye bye. Hello there. You on with the stylistics? Yes, I would like to ask a question, please. I'm a single parent, and you know I love your music. I don't have the kind of money today to um, come to see you, but I want to know: Can I be on the guest list to see you? I'll, you know, it'd be just me. You know, I have two kids and trying to raise them by myself, and it's kind of hard. <laughs> I'm not trying to, I see you smiling, but I'll just come uh, straight up. I, I respect what you're saying, but now, disimagine. <laughs> yes, sir. If there was 10 or 20 other calls like that, then what the club is going to say. But that's the reason why you have to use your own adjustment. Exactly. You know, so then what you would have to do is call <laughs> off the air and ask that question. Yes, sir. Can I have your name, sir? Uh, okay. My name is Herb. Herb? Thank yes. you, Herb. And my name is Reginald, and I will be calling you back. Because I'm really serious. I don't want to joke with you. I understand uh, what you're all saying. All right, Reginald. Thanks for the call. <laughs> all right, then. Hello, you on with the stylistics? Hello. Hello, Hello there. there. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, you guys, are, you guys are getting hit up. And, uh, I know. People asking you up. Uh, uh, she, what, 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 what could she been upset about? She uh, get off her phone. Evidently, hey, he's but, not contributing to the phone, man. <laughs> right. Hey, but if she knew that he was talking to the stylistics, I think she'd have a change. She probably, of mind. Uh, yeah. probably so, probably. Okay. Probably had to make That's emergency it. call. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. Hey Rock, uh, we got uh, we got one more one more call. Let's see uh, see what this is all about here. Uh, hello there, you on the air with the stylistics? Hi, how you doing? Hello, okay, how, how are you? you? Um, I want you to sing "Break Up to Make Up," just the first verse if you can. Well, you come on out to Kimball's, and we'll sing the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks How's for the that? call. Then. All right. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> this is our last call. Uh, thanks everybody for calling. Uh, we uh, hello, you on oh. with the stylistics? Hello. I was the one who called in about the dramatics and in the rain. I'm so sorry. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. It happened. I'm really sorry. It happened That's quite all right. Of us. all right. Do you have any new records out? Yes, we do. Uh, we have a CD entitled Love is Back in Style. Um, it was just released about a month ago. Okay, well, that just about does it. I uh, want to thank you guys for, for coming out and uh, being with us. want to thank everybody out there for calling. Uh, uh, G Spot. Stop. Yeah, that's me. G Stop. G spot, <laughs> G spot, G spot. No, no, no. Everybody nah. knows the Come G spot. Come on, Big Al. Know, you know, know the G spot. <laughs> yeah. Come know, on, Al. <laughs> you know we talked about it earlier, uh, G. Okay. That's we right. and uh, we, I, we, I told you uh, about it, but I didn't want to go there. You know. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, it's for Gary. Right. Yeah. Gary okay. Spot. Yeah. There, yeah. yeah. Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. Spot. Gary Spot. That's you know, that's the way. Well, it goes before we go any far, hey, I want to ask one more question before you guys go. You know, just a couple questions, actually. A lot of people, you know, they uh, they think that you guys came out in the 70s, you know, 73, 74, 70, but you guys actually got albums all the way through the 80s, through the 90s. I mean, how many albums do you guys really have? Oh, all total of well over 22. Yeah. And, and I Canada. don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You, you're talking worldwide, you know, and then with compilation albums thrown in there. So it's well over 22, 23 albums. And uh, these are just some of the... Uh, looks of some of the different albums <laughs> you may you may have this one at home and uh man you know how many low rider cars you guys are in right now <laughs> you know, low riders cruising to the stylistic right. I, mean, I remember when you guys were on eight track yeah i'm mean, trying to say uh, that now oh, but, yeah, 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 back in the days right. i want everybody to know right now too you know they're real stars the stylistics are real stars because they ain't got no socks <laughs> <laughs> it's, you big when you ain't got no socks. See, me and Al got socks. So, you know, we, well, we, we can't see to... you, Shabby, there. <laughs> uh, G-spot. Okay. 
<laughs> well, that's, 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 that's right on. And uh, I guess uh, that's a, a sign of making it then. Uh, well, when you, uh, you know, they're, they're hanging out. He's dry. They're dry. They didn't, they didn't quite dry out. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, uh, I, I wanted to ask you guys about that, too. Uh, you know, your itinerary a while ago when you ran it down to us, um, you didn't mention uh, you, you guys was going to Mexico. And, I, you know, I worked at several radio stations, Los Angeles, uh, San Diego, right. and uh, uh, the uh, Latino brothers, they really love uh, the oldie music, but yeah. I, I, do you guys ever make appearances in Mexico? Have you ever been there? Never been to Mexico. Never, Never been there. Always but man, they buy an awful there. lot of you guys records. Right? We, we have a large Lat Latino uh, following. Uh, one of the shows we just did in, in L.A., uh, the audience was like 95% Latino. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, man, because yeah. they really go for the mm -hmm. oldies, and, oh, yeah. and you guys yeah. are one of their favorites. I do know that, you know, oh, so I'm yeah. surprised that you haven't been there. Okay, well, our producer over there, Mr. Uh, Rockefeller, uh, we knew we got a guy named Rockefeller. <laughs> okay, Lincoln Center, whatever. <laughs> we, we'll change his name to Lincoln Center. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey. Thanks again, fellas. Uh, thank uh, G Spot. That's right. Uh, for stopping by, Aaron. Uh, Herb, thanks a lot. Thank you. And uh, Enjoy it. we'll thank be you. out to see you guys. And I uh, hope you're in good form when we get there so we can. Uh, really enjoy it, okay? Right, we'll try to be. Thank okay, you very much. Then. Thank you. And thanks everybody for watching us out there. Thank all of you for calling in. We want to thank our producer here, Mr. Uh, Rockefeller, X Rock 3, whole nine yards, and a host of other people that assist him here uh, to make this uh, live broadcast possible. I'm Al Ballard saying you take care of yourself.